Welcome everybody to Light Efficient Design's second ever video podcast, aka the LED Cast. I'm your host, Doug Nebelsberger, joined by my co-host, Rebecca Healy, and our special guest for the day is Chief Innovation Officer of Light Efficient Design, David Gershaw. How the heck are you? I'm great. Go UConn. <laughs> Go UConn. Got my Indiana on today. <laughs> Getting into sports and mode. Rebecca. And your co-host, your co-host is staying professional as always with their light efficient designer rep bar shirt. So welcome hey, everybody. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, hey David, uh, so we all miss sports and we wanna get to know you better. So I have a couple sports questions for you. Oh, here uh -oh. We go. I'm not a huge sports guy, so this will be interesting. All <laughs> right, but what is your favorite sports team? So like I said, I'm not I'm not a diehard sports fan, but I will say the New England Patriots have to take the top. And for me, it's more because of all the, the memories I have of going to games, tailgating with friends, taking uh, taking a lot of customers, um, distributors, contractors to games. So just a lot of fun, a lot of good memories going to Patriots games. Very nice. But we um, but we we got a new quarterback this year, so that'll be that'll be interesting what happens. And what is your favorite sports movie? Favorite sports movie. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go with with a traditional choice. I'm thinking, and you guys can decide if you still consider these sports movies, but I think it's a tie for me between like Dodgeball and Caddyshack, yeah, which are counts. which are sports movies. That counts. I, it was, it's not quite as controversial as uh, Die Hard being a Christmas movie, but I'm not gonna touch that one. <laughs> But, uh, but both those uh, qualify, absolutely. You All right. Can, uh, dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball, absolutely. All right. <laughs> and David, what was your favorite sport growing up? I think I know so, this one, but let's see. Yeah, so I, so I played, I'll go with what I played. So I, play, I actually played rugby in high school and college. Um, and rugby was not very popular when I was in high school. And our, our, we actually, see, me and a couple of buddies actually started the team. I played that through high school, um, and now, at least in our area, Massachusetts, rugby in high school is more popular. And then I played it at UConn as well uh, for about a year until I broke my my wrist, my foot, my nose, and I think my mother decided that uh, that it probably wasn't wasn't the best choice for me because rugby was pretty pretty rough sport, but I had a lot of fun playing. Awesome. Thanks for thanks for sharing that. Uh, yeah. Pretty. I think that paints a pretty good picture of what we're about to dive into today. But uh, let me give you guys a quick uh, rundown of what we're doing uh, today. And this is the second ever uh, video podcast, as I mentioned. Check out our new uh, website, solera-solar.com. And if you're not following Rebecca, Retrofitting Rebecca on Instagram, great follow, great content. Check it out. Um, so today, we started uh, Solar Madness yesterday, announcing the field. Today, we're going to hit uh, the, a bunch of round one winners, uh, part one of, part, of two parts. Uh, so we'll go through that today. And uh, we have David on here to talk about Solera Solar Lighting's Hybrid 365. Free to shine, uh, great new innovative product that uh, David and team have been working on for a long time. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about it. And I think, uh, David, you want me to cue, uh, cue up that video? Sure, and, and I know that we're excited to present that. A lot of people have already seen that Solera logo, obviously, but free to shine. Doug, you wanna talk about that for a second? That's our new slogan, right, for Solera? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we have both off-grid and hybrid, uh, but essentially the free to shine is, is, is two parts. So one, the, the free part, essentially you're looking at zero operational cost. Uh, once this uh, once this uh, fixture is uh, is mounted and installed, because with the off grid you're not running any electricity, and even with the hybrid you're running very minimal electricity uh, to the LED fixture. So really cool stuff. And, and to shine, these things really put out brilliant light, um, really high high quality uh, light coming from these solar LED fixtures. So with that, let me uh, kick into this uh, video here. And David, take it away. Sure, that's perfect, Doug. So the Solera Hybrid 365 area light fixture that you can see here on the screen um, has a lot of very innovative new features that have never been seen but before in the market. So this can be powered both by the sun but also tap into grid power if necessary. 
The first model that we're launching is a 30 watt output that's gonna be equivalent to a 250 watt HID. Um, as you can see in this little rendering here, this animation, the solar panel can completely articulate 365 degrees around, and then it also can angle, so you can properly um, orient this towards where the sun is in your area. Um, you can see how the, how the bolts unlock and lock in in order to change the solar panel, then you can also change the angle of the LED head itself. It's gonna be available with various mounts for different, different poles and wall mounts. So it has a replaceable battery pack and very innovative battery technology that can work in very low temperatures. So this is first product to market with a battery that can operate in such low temperatures. It has an integrated motion sensor. So here's a little, little animation. Um, if you had this hybrid 365 fixture on a street, you can see how as that car approaches, uh, the lights are gonna go up to 100% light level and then dim down to a lower light level. That's an optional mode. You don't have to engage that mode. So this fixture would be perfect for town streets, be perfect for walkways um, and parks, for rural roads, and then also for you know, walkways along, along waterfronts and school campuses, university campuses, high school campuses, um, any other types of walkways. So these are all perfect examples of where it could be used. So it's really the ultimate energy savings and the hybrid 365 fixture is gonna be available very, very soon. Awesome. Awesome. That was, uh, that was really cool. Let me uh, kick off this video here, bring us back. So, uh, so David, so we've been doing uh, light efficient design. We've been doing the solar off grid products for about two years now. So why, why the hybrid? Great question. So the hybrid 365 uh, concept I'd say is really to, to accomplish two things. First it's for low temperature uh, areas of the world where um, even with our battery technology, our new battery technology that can work in very low operating temperatures down to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, um, still there are areas of the country like here in Boston where in the winter we get, I'm looking out the window right now, we get a lot of cloudy days. So, um, so the first reason why this technology is really interested is interesting is that in northern parts of the world or in colder climates, um, this is going to be a technology that's going to guarantee that no matter what the weather conditions, no matter how many cloudy days you have in a row, the fixture is still going to be on and give you safe light levels at night. So that first reason is really for low temperature climates. The second reason is that no matter if you're in a low temperature climate or even if you're in, in Texas or, or somewhere where you're in Florida or Southern California where you have primarily warmer weather and better conditions, um, what it's gonna do is still be able to guarantee you that if you set this to 100% light level, meaning that at, at uh, sundown, the light fixture comes on at 100%, just like you'd expect any normal parking lot fixture or roadway fixture to come on, and then in the morning it shuts off. If it's running 100% the whole night, even in places of the country like Texas or Florida that are primarily warm, you still could get some extended poor weather conditions that are pretty cloudy for a week or so. So even in those areas of the country, again, you could guarantee that every single night of the year, the lights are going to be on. So that's, that's the real idea here. And it's the, um, the intelligent control module or the brain, if you will, inside the, the high, hybrid 365 fixture is really the, the new innovation that allows us to make this possible. And this module, this, this hybrid intelligent control module, the brain, basically looks at how much power is inside the battery and it decides if it can operate at the set light level throughout the entire night or if it from, from just the battery or if it needs to start picking up a little bit of power from the grid. So it's always gonna primarily be pulling power from the battery and only when it absolutely has to, it'll start pulling from the grid. So very minimal power pulled from the grid. That's awesome, that's awesome. And I think, uh, and not to give the whole backstory, but I mean, you've been, uh, you've been doing solar and LED for, for more than two years. Light Efficient Design has done it for two years, but how, how far back did, uh, did you start with, uh, with 2015 solar? is when we okay. started working in solar. So some people are aware of that story where we were doing um, at REMFOS, before we merged with LED, we were doing uh, projects in Africa, rural Africa, some really nice projects in Tanzania specifically where we were providing um, lighting for homes and for, for roadways that didn't, don't have any electricity to begin with. So we've had years of experience in solar 
And it's only in the last two years, like you said, that we've brought these markets um, to the United States and Canada. Um, and now we're really expanding on, on our offering to offer this new 365 technology. That's, no, that's awesome. I mean, I think, you know, you're uh, obviously pushing the envelope and have been known to push the envelope with new product innovation. So uh, really exciting for you to help us bring this to market. And I'm sure everybody watching this is excited for uh, Hybrid 365 to be released. So stay tuned for more information on Hybrid 365. Uh, there will be in May a full uh, pro workshop webinar. Uh, a couple different times with that where David will dive a little bit more deeper in there, but uh, just wanted to talk a little bit with them and uh, a little bit of a tease there of uh, what's soon to come from uh, light efficient design and uh, Solera solar lighting. Very cool stuff. Thanks, David. Absolutely. All right. So now we are going to unveil uh, some winners, uh, part one of part two. So let me cue this back up here. And... All right. So Rebecca, can you start us off? Yeah, absolutely. Now we're going to unveil the contestants advancing from round one to round two for the retrofit kits region. All right, let's see who we got. So the first two people moving on are, we've got Michelle from CED and Tim K from uh, CES. So nice, we've got a CED CES showdown. Very, uh, very exciting. Uh, moving to the bottom here, we've got, oh, we've got a, a rep uh, upset over a distributor here, Edward from uh, ESN in Ontario, uh, taking on Marcus from Boss Lighting uh, next round. Let's move hey, on. Hey, Doug, I wanted to ask, I know that some pretty uh, advanced algorithms went into picking the, uh, the winner of each matchup. You want to go into a little bit more detail how those advanced algorithms actually Yep. Together. I uh, can't completely unveil everything. Uh, you know, I'm looking at starting a consulting business soon, but uh, <laughs> it's really innovative, uh, ultra sophisticated simulation technology with crazy algorithms running. Nice. Kind of plugged it in with everybody's scores from the quizzes. Uh, so just really cool stuff. I mean, I just love hitting the buttons and watching it go. It's, it's fun. Real exciting. That makes sense. Hey, um, another, another quick question. How come, so Solera Madness, I see our little guy up in the court corner Edison has a, a eight on his shirt is there any meaning of that eight uh yep so that is when light efficient design was founded was 2000 ah. so we started back then I love um, it. so that's that's the number eight there so love good uh, good questions <laughs> um so we've got a uh, our first international uh, matchup here we've got Roy from uh, from Canada and Elliot from the states um let's see who uh, moves on in these two Elliot, and then uh, Tim G from Van Meter. All right, very exciting uh, distributor uh, showdown uh, next next uh, round. And then here's that Mid-Atlantic matchup. Uh, Robert from Dominion versus Ed from Colrick, the, uh, the rep agency there. And and Robert takes it. I think Ed's, uh, Ed's sweating that one uh, no longer, uh, knowing that his customer has been able to move on, uh, joined by Mike B from uh, Kniff. The reps are not faring very well. Uh, I'm surprised. I thought, I mean, some of these reps are, are strong contenders too. I'm surprised. All right. This is uh, ooh, first potential for Rexel versus Rexel, company versus company. And do we have it? We do not. We've got uh, Rexel and uh, Dan A from uh, Allied Light moving on. And we've got Eric from Kirby Risk and then Dahlia from Hall Marketing. Finally, we got a rep. All right. Oregon and Washington. Great, great job. Got a rep. First company, uh, company people in here, uh, Mike Boyd uh, predicted that Roger K would advance, but let's see at the top who we got. And we have Riley from HD and Faye from our uh, rep agency in Florida. Um, Tim's, not, Tim's not gonna be happy with that. Uh, I, I think he likes the customer. I think he's gonna be happy, all right. <laughs> um, and then we've, got, uh, and then we've got Mike B. Let's see if his prediction comes true, and it does. Roger K from Boss Lighting takes it. Uh, and we'll wow. fake Mark from Dominion. All right. Uh, and then a quick read from our sponsor at Light Efficient Design, Rebecca. Yeah, so Light Efficient Design puts together these monthly pro workshop webinars. Learn, connect, sell better. They provide company and industry updates, new product releases, case studies, and more. 
participate in quizzes and Q and A's to learn even more. Sometimes you even win LED swag, like one of these Yetis here. Very exciting. Thank you. Oh, if you've missed any, log on to our website, led-llc.com, resources tab, videos, then a webinars tab. Below each video is the name of the LED, pre of the LED product that was featured that month. Back to you, Doug. All right, thanks, Rebecca. Um, and now we're gonna take a look at the uh, entries for the screw and retrofits region here. Um, first, moving along, we have Koi from CESS, and Rick from Bishop in Georgia. And then uh, could we have some more reps moving along here? We've got one, Rick uh, Emery from EF Lombardi, joined by Matt from Graybar. Uh, moving along, another international matchup, match uh, Frank from uh, Ontario versus, and this was awkward uh, yesterday on the podcast. I thought Rebecca uh, had put in her two weeks via, being an entry <laughs> contest, working for Continental. Turns out that's not the case. Uh, she had me sweating. So that that is fake news. Fake news. Thank you for <laughs> confirming again. And we've got Rebecca moving on with Tim, and then we've got okay, we've got Chuck from Jexpro and Richard from uh, Eastern States Electrical Supply. Um, and then who else do we got moving on here? We have okay, George International. I love seeing the Canada participation uh, with Kelly from uh, Colric, uh, one of our reps of the year. Another Mid-Atlantic showdown here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see how the rep and the uh, distributor fare here. Ooh, Richard Carroll beats his customer from Dominion. That uh, that'll be interesting. But uh, I think Richard can handle it. What do you think, Rebecca? I think so. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, moving on, we've got some more round one winners. Oh my gosh, we just released them all at once. A lot of people, Aaron from Van Meter, Sam from Electrical Wholesale, Christina from Out West at Main Electric, and Michael from Boss Lighting. Very exciting, congratulations guys. Round two is a big deal. Um, and then a quick read again from our uh, sponsor at Light Efficient Design. Again, heavy on the advertising here, but Light Efficient Design's new screw-in retrofit lamp for wall packs and shoebox fixtures are made to be the same size as the HID lamp that they're replacing to offer that hashtag guaranteed fit. So my favorite is that 8089G5 is the same profile as that infamous Shorty ED28250 or 400 watt lamp. Check out Light Efficient Design's new shoebox ball pack retrofit lamps. Rebecca, what's the next region we got? We've got work lights. Work lights, ooh, this one's one of my favorites. Although I say that about all of them. Anyways, let's see who we got moving along. This was a big matchup. The, uh, they share a border in New Mexico and Arizona. So who do we got winning? Samantha from Mountain States takes that one. We'll face Wayne from World Electric. And in the bottom, uh, we've got Dan, Dan Mass from uh, Platt moving, uh, moving on against Michael from Graybar. Um, we've got some company people at the bottom. At the top, what do we got? We've got a... Ooh, Ooh, James from Mountain States, another Mountain States versus uh, Jared from State Electric. And let's see, do we get that first company on company crime that Ryan Quinn referenced yesterday? And we do not. Uh -huh. That's in a trend here. A lot of light efficient design. <laughs> I, wonder if, uh, I wonder if they just gave up on purpose. Um, so we got Cody and Clinton moving on. And then, uh, okay, we got a good mix here. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, guys, this is exciting. This is exciting. In-state rivalry here. We got Pittsburgh versus Philly with Craig and Hagen. We've got the black and gold versus the uh, the mighty crazy Philly fans. Uh, that one's one to keep your eye on, guys. Check that out uh, in a couple days. And Jason from Kirby Risk and Hope from uh, Lamp Sales. Uh, thank you for participating. Moving on. Let's see who else we got. Jason from man, a lot of Voss and Kirby Risk people. Thank you guys for participating. Yeah. Uh, Daniel from uh, SMR, one of our reps of the year last year, great job. And uh, Mario said he was going to compete and be tough, but wasn't enough. Dave C moves on. Rebecca, take this one away. Absolutely. What beautiful photos of Solera solar lights illuminating areas where there is no power or where they decided to go solar instead of running it with electricity. Thank you to those who've sent in photos to show just how powerful Solera solar fixtures can brighten up an area. Please send your solar application photos to Rebecca Healy. Back to you, Doug. Thank you, Rebecca, and thank you, Solera Solar Lighting, for, uh, for your advertisement in our uh, podcast series here. 
Um, what's this next region, Rebecca? Absolutely. Now we're going to unveil the contestants advancing from round one to round two for the fixture region. All right, here we go. We're taking it home. This is our last region of the day. And we have some, ooh, David, this is, this is the innovation uh, quality oh boy. development oh boy. I know we were talking about this. Richard Campbell's standing about six foot five, six foot yep. six, a little bit of a weight advantage. Uh, let's see if you guys uh, meet in the next round. And uh, Shocker, you guys. Next do. year, next year. It's always next year. Another, uh, wait, hang on. We got another big one here. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got a potential yes. electric sales showdown. And oh my, there we go. We got it. Jason Thompson versus Dave Dye. This one's going to be exciting. I can't wait to hear about the chatter in the office between those folks, if they're in the office, that is. A lot of people are working from home these days. Uh, moving on, Gene Cullen, uh, let's see if the trend continues. And it does. Mike from uh, Resin House and uh, Cameron from Kirby Risk. Uh, and then they're joined by uh, Gillivan, uh, Mike, and Rexel. All right. All right, moving on. We've got a clean break between uh, distributors and reps here. And moving on to the next round, we've got couple reps. We've got Jen from Archibald and Meeks in Chicago and Tanner from Electra Sales. Um, that's a few Electra folks moving on. And then uh, looks like we got another opportunity for uh, company versus company. Didn't work out last time. How about this time? Thoughts? Do you guys think it's going to happen? Rexel, I, I, Rexel? I think it would be exciting. I think Rexel versus Rexel mm -hmm. would be real exciting. Well, let's see. We got it. Boom. Oh, wow. Wow. Boom. There we go. David versus Jeff. We're going to have to see if they know each other. And if not, we'll have to connect them. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that's great that's great all right this is the last one a uh, couple of regional managers from light efficient design uh mario said michelle is uh is mighty and uh competitive so let's see see what happens here and we've got michelle versus uh kent kirby risk um and then we've got a couple more reps rep distributor matchups to round this baby out let's see what we got Got one rep and one distributor moving on. Jerry Reynolds from Metro Electric and uh, Brian from Synergy. And I think... Uh, Brian must have been wearing his lucky socks. I've seen him wearing his Synergy socks. He must, they, must have lucky. they must have helped him out this time. Those Synergy socks are, uh, are quite impressive. Uh, they finally got us to do our own socks. We've got some light efficient design socks coming out uh, soon. I see. <laughs> So, uh, so thanks everybody for, uh, for joining us um, on our second ever LED video podcast, aka the LED cast. Uh, I'm Doug Nebelsberger, co-host Rebecca Healy, special guest David Gershaw, and uh, if you guys want to stick around, we're going to talk about big cats. Exotic. Oh wow, big actually, I, I didn't even, I, I just realized where I was. I just, I just saw that over my shoulder, didn't even realize what was happening there. So, so David, are you uh, are you a big cat guy, or uh, or is there something else going on? No, I did, yeah, I, I I obviously watched uh, Tiger King over the last week, and uh, it had a profound impact on my life. And uh, currently looking at uh, adopting a few big cats. It's uh, it's crazy. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll try to keep this uh, PG here, um, along with no spoilers, no spoiler alerts. Although everybody should have watched the tiger documentary uh, with, uh, with shelter in place going on. But uh, crazy that there's more big cats uh, at zoos or at, you know, people's houses than there is in the wild. That was, uh, that was fascinating. Yeah, I, unbelievable. I know, sad, very sad. I guess a lot of their habitats have been taken away. But Rebecca, how do you feel about that? A lot of uh, tigers just at people's homes or at zoos versus in the wild. So go over to the gallery view. Good call. There we go. Well, cats, I like going to the, to seeing like the cat exhibit at the zoo, but cats, um, you never know how they're going to feel. So I prefer dogs. <laughs> <laughs> good, uh, good answer. I, uh, you know, what do you, what do you think, David, when they first introduced, uh, you know, the guy that has 200 cats, like, I thought that was it. There's one guy in the U.S. that's got all these cats, and that's it. And then yeah. they unveiled. There's a bunch of these people. Yeah, just mind, mind blown. Just mind blown. <laughs> hey, Doug, isn't it against the law to have that many cats? It's against the law to have one cat, to have one of these <laughs> cats. But 
Speaking of Wallace big, when you're talking tiger claws. Speaking of big angry uh, things, uh, Re- Rebecca, are you an angry mom or something? Because I noticed you got some of your beautiful children behind you there, but uh, it looks like it was an accident or something. He he wasn't following the rules this morning. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no angry cat. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bear mama though. You don't mess with my kids, but, but no, cats, they're cute. They're soft. Until they rip your arm off. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Never scold a cat because they will attack you. <laughs> so David, what about, uh, what about Carol? Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. I, uh, I'd say it's kind of a hypocrite, I'd say, eh? Yeah, I, oof, I, I don't know. I would not want to be Carol Baskin's husband for a number of reasons. One of her two or three husbands that uh, disappeared, just disappeared. I don't know. Wouldn't want to. I, uh, I personally can't wait for Halloween to see all the uh, exotic Joe costumes. Yeah, Doug Carol Exotic. Bassett. Can't wait to see Doug Exotic come Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Might, uh, I mean, hey, get a wig with a mullet, you know. Just, uh, You've already got, you already have the five piercings. You just have to put the earrings back in. <laughs> Most people don't know about that, David. That was, uh, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. I've already seen a lot of uh, a lot of children's costumes, even where they're dressing babies as like a baby tiger tiger cub. Crazy. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna stick around for a while. Yep. So, I don't know. Great, uh, great show. But what I would recommend, and I don't know if anybody's still even watching this, but what I would highly recommend is before you start uh, Tiger King is to watch Lion King first. Now I watched the more recent Lion King, uh, but it really gets you in the right mindset for for being around a bunch of tigers and other exotic cats. So huh. uh, Lion King, and then go just just go crazy with the Tiger King <laughs> docu series, knock it out. So um, yeah. So but hey, man, thanks for uh, thanks for being our guest today. Absolutely. Um, Thanks for having a lot me. Of, a lot of fun. Excited about Hybrid 365. And yep. uh, yeah, man, it's going to be good. I'm so. going to, and uh, it's tough. I mean, with all the anticipation of these brackets, it's going to be tough to sleep this week. It's just, there's a lot of great matchups, a lot of good competition. Uh, I, I'll be honest. I mean, I had some money on uh, some of those, some of those teams, some of those guys that lost, but mm-hmm. I'm going to, you know, I'm still excited. Still really excited to see how this all pans out. Good, good. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good couple weeks. I think we end on April fourteenth uh, is the championship game where we wow. unveil the winner of the five hundred dollar uh, gift card. Wow. So, uh, a lot, a lot more prizes to be won along the way too. So uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So thank you guys. Thanks Rebecca for being an yes. awesome co-host as always. Thank you, David, for coming on today. Thank you, Rebecca. Thanks, thanks.